All right, now I'm just taking this little charger apart for two reasons. I want to uh, fix the cord, and I'd like to uh, see if I can mount it permanently onto that deck. Yes, it looks like it's going to be all right. And I'm just going to fix this cord while I'm at it, too. I'm not going to disconnect anything. I'm just going to see if I can uh, use this up here. I'll show you that when I'm done. I gotta fix that. Alright guys, so this is what I'm gonna do. I've uh, squared off this end here. Took the cotton out from inside the cable. And I'm just gonna slide, being as there's no damage to the conductors, I'm just gonna slide this down like that. And I can't get a heat shrink on there because these are soldered onto the circuit board and I don't want to muck with that. You only muck with those if they're broken. And I'm just going to put some tape on there. Some good tape. There's cheap tape and there's good tape. I can't get a heat shrink on it because you still have to get the heat shrink over the end, right? I'm going to use quite a bit of this. I'll come back when I am closer. Okay, now I'm just going to drill two holes for my homemade brackets to hold the battery from sliding side to side. You don't need to wash the drill holes. Ah, uh, maybe one, right? It's going good. A little bit of loop. Good, I gotta get a different uh, drill. Charge that up after. I guess I could just change the battery out, eh? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Okay, that battery's dead. right there. Doesn't quite look centered, but the brackets are slightly different. Okay, we'll turn you off. You don't have to wash me drill holes all day. Okay, it's almost ready for me to take it apart and paint it. The black, anyway. I'll just put it on the ground and we'll see what we got happening. It's probably gotten heavier since the last time I lifted it. Gotta wash my head up top. Oh yeah! Okay. We'll just pretend this is in. We're 
still got the screws out of this. There, that's kind of what we're getting at. So there's the cables coming off the battery up to a piece of wood so it doesn't short anything out. And then my battery charger on the top and the, the clips will go on to the same piece of wood. And uh, I just got to cut this piece of wood off about an eighth of an inch past here. And that's enough for today. I think that's pretty cool. I might end up taking those wheels off. Okay, except for paint, now it's done. I got the uh, battery charger mounted with these little brackets so I didn't have to mount from underneath through the feet and into the chassis. So if I ever have to take this off, I just flip these two bolts and they come off. Much easier. Right there and there. It's flush on the side here. And there's room for that other mini charger on the, on the top. And other junk, right? And uh, down below, on the battery, these brackets, this is a smaller battery, right? So these brackets are extendable. If the battery's an inch or two wider, we might be able to use the same, use the same uh, holes. And then there's the wooden bar where the clamps go, so we don't get a short. That's cool. So I just gotta pull this off, and I'm gonna paint the whole thing black. The top, and then I'll just take the plate off the bottom and paint it black too. And we'll leave the orange. So now we're gonna see if it works. Be right back. Alright guys, real world simulation. I've disconnected the battery, the positive on my battery. There's the cable there. And I've got my new booster battery connected to the positive and the negative. And it's down there. So when we start it, we're not using the tractor battery, right? So this is kind of like a simulation when you're when a dead tractor comes into the operation. And uh, let's just give this a go. Should start. I'm kind of curious to see how my voltage is, because this battery was the one that <laughs> was, was toast, right? Just put it up here.
Okay, so that battery's no good. I tried. But the general the general theory is good here. I just need to get a better battery. Real world screw up. Drop to six volts. <clears throat> That's all right. Don't mind that. Don't suck up. Drop the battery. And do it again. Because I'm going to shovel or plow some snow today. I might as well watch the voltage on the uh, existing battery too, right? Alright tubes, there's my little charging cart. You saw the battery was dead, but that's easy to re replace. And uh, also on here I've got a little battery charger. It puts out a third of an amp. <laughs> it puts out a third of an amp. I put alligator clips on it, red red for positive, black for negative. And uh, I did that because this charger, once it's done charging, after about eight hours, it just kicks out and stops charging. And I want something to keep a battery at 14 volts. And this is what, this works just great. I had three of these with an output of 12 volts. One of them had uh, output of 16 volts. One of them had an output of 15 volts. And this one settles down to about 14 volts after it's been charged for a while. So this is the one. I'm just going to tuck it back in there like that. And I've got a little mini charging station. But the one other thing I'd like to do is get a battery tester. And I can just lay it on the side here or change things around. So that's kind of a cool little thing. The wooden bar is for the clamps so they don't short out, right? Because if you clamped them on a metal bar, that would be a short on the battery. There. Miniature charging station. And a glove. Thanks, tubes. Alright, guys. I'm done the little portable charging station. Uh, I have not given up on this battery yet. I know it did a terrible job of starting the tractor. But I have had a lot of experience with batteries. And if you stay at them, sometimes they'll come back. And it doesn't cost me anything to check, right? So this is the... It's on charge. And this is the little charger that's been doing the job. Its current is at 0 amps. 13.6 volts, 13.7. And the, it says the battery's full. On that one. And then on this one, I've got the little trickle charger on here. With the positive and the negative clips on the battery. This battery came out of the LX178 tractor. And I'm just going to take a voltage measurement of this battery. It's been on for 24 hours. Same as the other one. And we're at 14.03 volts, which is absolutely perfect. So, that's the end of this little uh, battery series. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.